this video will show you how to go about nominating competitors. The first thing to note is the search box labelled Find. You start typing letters in there, D, A, W. Now lists names that match that and I've selected Greg Dawes. Greg happens to be a referee so his shooter number has been adjusted so that he'll be the last one in the squad. Okay, I'll now get another shooter, C A L so Emilio Caliccio, he's not a referee, so he goes at the start of the squad. This is what happens when you get two, two matching names, John Bennett. Um, both appear to be members of SCA. The second one has no details or events associated with it, but the first one does, so we'll choose the first one and add them, add John to squad one. There's quite a lot of browns, as you can see there, by just pressing the delete key there. We now list them all, and you can pick any one of those that you want. What happens if we select Chris Brown? There are four shown there, but when we look at the list, there's actually five, and that's because there's two Chris James Browns there. Whether that's right or wrong is anybody's guess I'm afraid. But you can select any of those and you can view their details, what uh, data we have on their um, shooting competitions. That helps you to select the right one. What happens if you put in a name who's not on the file? Our friend Mr. Joseph Blow. I've used the full name Joseph rather than Joe because you should always use the name that appears on their uh, firearms license. But we can change their preferred name to Joe Joe Blow. Uh, we can set up the nationality, what category they are. Maybe the Joe's a senior. Set up his handicap, 9 or 10. And the birth date, if we know it. If we don't know it, leave it at 1st of January 1900. And normally you'd click OK and they would be added to the event, but we won't add Joe Blow. But that's how you do it. Now, if you want to move people around in the squad, use those buttons there. I just moved him up and then down again. Easy as that. If you want to move them between squads, select the squad you want them to go to and press update. Now, John Bennett's in squad two and he's out of squad one. You can put him back in squad one by simply clicking on the one button up there, update nomination, and there he is, back in squad one. So there's a quick overview of how you can move people around amongst squads and in within squads.